Hey everybody, today we're going to learn a little bit about alcohol. I meant to post this video about a month ago, but I have been backed up with a few too many projects. Can't quite keep up with everything. I'm hoping to finish up soon this, uh, this ambrosia maple and plumwood shelf, or not shelf, uh, pitcher display thing for, uh, for the house here pretty soon. But uh, I wanted to get this posted before any, any more time elapsed because I think a lot of people are doing the wrong thing and I want to try to course correct that. So, uh, of course, because of the coronavirus situation, alcohol has kind of disappeared off the shelves in the hardware store. I went in to get some more denatured alcohol because I, I use it in the workshop for uh, a few different applications. Normally cleaning, but I also sometimes use this for uh, if I have to, to run some, some wood with complicated grain through the planer. Sometimes I put alcohol on the surface to, uh, to soften the wood a little bit. It's, um, this has enough water in it that it, it sort of raises the grain a little, and then I think the alcohol helps soften it as well. Uh, it's uh, a little bit risky, of course, because your alcohol is flammable, and you're running that through a planer that might build up static electricity. So I wouldn't necessarily re recommend that practice as a regular thing, but um, if you have your system grounded, it's, uh, it's probably not too bad. I haven't had any explosions yet. Keep my fingers crossed, but, but um, this has kind of gone from the shelves right now. So I went in looking for some; it wasn't there, and I thought, "Crap! You know what? People are probably using this for uh, for um, disinfecting their hands, or or worse, their face, or anything else. This is not the right thing to use for disinfecting. Denatured alcohol is it's primarily ethyl alcohol or ethanol, but it's mixed with methyl alcohol also. And uh, little known fact. Uh, ethyl alcohol is drinking alcohol. That's that's the stuff that you actually can ingest, you know, found in beer, wine, vodka, whiskey, whatever. Uh, this is primarily drinking alcohol in here, but, big but, it, it has methyl alcohol mixed in because methyl alcohol is toxic. It doesn't make this any more useful or more, uh, more functional or, or let it do anything that it couldn't do otherwise. But by adding methyl alcohol, it's not subject to the... Um, to the same tax laws as drinking alcohol. So this can be uh, sold in the hardware store and you don't have to show ID to get it. The methyl alcohol mix is very toxic. It's very strong smelling. If you've ever used this stuff, any kind of denatured alcohol, you can really smell it. It's harsh and, um, and it, it's bad to smell it. Bad for your brain, bad for your skin, bad for your eyes. It's bad for everything. If you drink this, it'll, it'll kill you. Uh, small quantities will just make you extremely sick. Uh, maybe kill you, who knows. And uh, in, in larger quantities, if you're rubbing this on your skin to try to kill coronavirus, you're going to have a whole other set of problems. Um, don't spray this on your skin. Don't rub it on your skin. Don't definitely don't give it to your kids, and don't breathe it. You don't want to rub rub this around inside your house and use it to wipe off countertops, just because you can't find any Lysol wipes. Because you and your family are going to be breathing the fumes for this. Don't do this. Leave leave this stuff for the um, for the industrial applications, because that's what it's made for specifically. Now, moving on from the denatured alcohol, which again, you should not use for, for any kind of disinfecting, we have, uh, this is a kind of a higher grade denatured alcohol. You can, this is used by woodworkers a lot for, uh, if you're familiar with shellac, it's a, it's a finish. You can buy it in a spray can like this. It's uh, one of the, the best natural sealers ever. It's actually from a secretion from a bug. Uh, um, the, to make the shellac, it's a secretion from a bug. It's like a crystal. In fact, I've got some right here. You can buy it in crystal form. And this is what shellac flakes look like before they're actually turned into the liquid shellac. And then it'll show up. And you can get this in, uh, this is the, the orange color and this is the clear. You can get these in the, what's often called blonde shellac flakes also. But this stuff can be dissolved in alcohol, but you don't want to use this alcohol because uh, it's got too much water in it. It's just, it, it, it's not as good of a, a solvent for this alcohol. So you can buy this higher grade alcohol here, which is I think somewhere at $15, $20, depending on where you get it. Um, and it has, I think it has a lower methanol content because this stuff smells a lot better than that stuff, even though they're both denatured alcohol. So this is probably higher in, in methyl, uh, methanol and, um, and water. This has a very low water content because when you're putting the finish on wood, you don't want a lot of water in there because it'll raise the grain. So 
this stuff's great. It's primarily ethanol, again, drinking alcohol. This is mostly drinking alcohol, but it has enough methyl alcohol added in there to make it toxic so they can sell it in, in stores, uh, normally in woodworking stores. Now, once again, ethyl alcohol, drinking alcohol, this is Everclear. This is the stuff that bad decisions are made out of. Uh, if you uh, are, are older, maybe you have a, a history of going to college or served in the military, you probably have a little experience with this stuff right here. And the older you got, hopefully, the more this was erased from your, your uh, stockpile in the house. Uh, Everclear is essentially super concentrated vodka. It's uh, much higher alcohol content, 75.5% alcohol or 151 proof. Just to give you an idea of, of how that compares, normally vodka or whiskey are 80 proof and 40% alcohol by volume. So this is about twice as potent as normal vodka or whiskey, but the primary ingredient, the only, well, a little bit of water in there, but primary ingredient in this is ethyl alcohol. The same stuff that's in this that's made toxic, and the same stuff that's in this that's also made toxic. But uh, if you just need to dissolve some shellac flakes in the workshop, or if you want to disinfect something, this stuff is, is great. And this works just fine for that, because it's, uh, it's a more pure alcohol, and it doesn't smell as bad. If you took a whiff of this, it would almost knock you out. But this stuff right here is not that bad to smell. And as far as toxicity, obviously you can put this inside your body, so it's not going to hurt you if you put it on your skin. Um, Again, you have to be careful because this is getting up into the more flammable range with the higher alcohol content. But, you know, just like these, these are also flammable. Uh, but you can, you could use this for mixing uh, shellac. But again, 75.5% alcohol by volume. That means that this is also 24.5% uh, water. So not the best thing for your, your shellac mixing. And also this is, I think I... I got this for around $25. This is probably closer to $20. This is a little more expensive than that. And of course, this is a lot more expensive than this, which is somewhere between $5 and $10. But you know, this is more toxic, more, uh, uh, it smells terrible, more water content. This is a lower water content, a little more refined. And this is the same. doesn't have any of the toxic stuff that this has or that. So you can use this in the workshop. Um, it, it's just a little more expensive. So. If you can't find either of these right now, this is a great option right there. Um, and I should point out that there's another option that's even stronger than this. Slide these guys over a little bit. This is the 190 proof Everclear. That's 95% alcohol by volume. So as far as water content, this is probably about 5% water then, this is probably closer to, to this uh, Beckhall solvent as far as water content. It's significantly better than that if you want to dissolve shellac flakes, and it's significantly better than, than, uh, than either of these if you want to dissolve shellac flakes. So yes, you can use this in the workshop. The only catch is that, uh, at least in the state of Virginia, you need a permit to buy this. They won't just sell it to you in the liquor store. Uh, there's a, a grain alcohol permit that you have to get, probably because this stuff is so flammable, and it's also drinkable. So um, I'm sure there have been a few cases of, of uh, uh, genius college students trying to pour this into a punch bowl with the cigarette hanging out of their mouth and blowing themselves up. So I think to, to keep a, a rein on that kind of behavior, this stuff is only available with a permit. You have to provide a good justification and, and your, uh, your, uh, the quantity of how much you can purchase is going to be limited. But that is an option. You can, you can try to get a permit uh, if you want to use this for workshop use. So uh, you can also use this for um, disinfecting as well. So that's something to keep in mind. If you want to make some homemade hand sanitizer, the World Health Organization has a recipe on their website. You can make hand sanitizer with this. You can also make it with that. And one thing I'd point out between these two also, uh, this is 70%, 75.5% uh, and this is 95%. Isopropyl alcohol, which is normally used for disinfecting, um, I hadn't really noticed this before. I never paid much attention to it. You can get 70% or 90, uh, around 90% isopropyl alcohol. This is actually better for disinfecting because of the water content. It serves two purposes. Uh, one is that the water uh, helps the alcohol evaporate slower, so it spends more time actually on the surface. And the second one, which gets into the medical uh, medical part that I don't fully understand, 
is um, essentially like you would put, if, if you're a woodworker, you put water on wood and the fibers expand. It's the same thing with, uh, with bacteria and viruses. If you have a little water content on there, it helps them open up so that the alcohol can get in there and kill the virus or the bacteria. Whereas if you put on the 91% or the 90% or higher, uh, it's, it's going to essentially uh, harden or seal the outside of the virus or bacteria and not allow the alcohol to penetrate. So you want the 70% for disinfecting. This is great, and that lines up more with this one right here, just the stuff that you can, at least in most states, you can buy this without any trouble in the, in the liquor store. And with this stuff right here, you need a permit for it. You can buy something similar strength in the grocery store. But if you were going to use this for disinfecting, you would actually want to dilute it so that it was closer to 70%, more like the 151 proof Everclear. Um, but that is an option if you can't get a hold of this. Please don't use that for disinfecting yourself or anyone in your family. Don't wipe it around in your kitchen or anywhere in your house. This is very bad for you. The money that you will save over this stuff is not worth it or this stuff get yourself a bottle of Everclear and preserve your health and if you're a, again if you're a woodworker and you just want to mix up some shellac you can forget about all this other stuff try to get your hands on some of this and that's going to give you a, a more of a pure uh, pure alcohol for your shellac flakes that isn't going to cause you any kind of medical conditions if you're breathing it in your workshop so that's all I have to say about alcohol for today. I hope that was helpful and I uh, hope you guys are staying safe and being smart and wearing a mask. Keep in mind that a lot of the people who, who bought up all of the denatured alcohol to rub all over their skin are also people who are not wearing masks right now. So they are, um, they are cleaning their hands of surface virus, but they are sucking in plenty of that airborne virus. So be safe, be smart. Put on a mask, especially if you're out in public. Just do it for, even if you disagree, just do it out of respect for other people, please. Uh, it makes them feel better and it lets you know that there's no chance that you're passing anything along, even if you're asymptomatic. And, uh, and once again, Everclear is your, your new alcohol solution for the workshop. Thanks for watching.